for coming our presentation. Since my laptop was stolen, I will give my <laughs> presentation verbally. Okay. Today I want to talk about the goal in your, in your life. So what is your goal in your life, Brad? <laughs> Get married. <laughs> when I was young, my goal was to become a billionaire. It was my dream. But of course, I don't know how to become. So before my presentation, I will give you the definition of goal from the Wikipedia. <laughs> a goal is something that we want to have as a person. This can be plan that help us have a personal development. But many people find it too difficult to reach their goal, usually. A goal is almost similar with the word purpose or aim because we anticipate some result in the end. Uh, as of the moment, I would like to talk about my several experience that has been throughout my throughout my life. I'm worried about that it's too boring. It's going to be too boring, but please listen. <laughs> when I was 19 years old, people found that uh, I had some talent in Korean martial arts, Taekwondo. So many people asked me to keep doing it. So I accept their advice because it was easier for me to do do the Taekwondo than do the study. So I just to choose Taekwondo as my first major. And because of this period, I had a lot of chance to go abroad because I was in the Taekwondo demonstration team. And it gave me, uh, it made me, it let me have wide view toward the world. So from this time, I started to think about trade. Trade, do you know trade? Yes. Sell and yeah, buy and sell. And though the concept was very simple for me, uh, if I can buy product from here and I can sell here, oh, oh, I can make money like that. I just think like that simply, but the process was not really simple as much as I thought. So I just tried to apply some company to get some experience. But I met uh, really uh, difficulties. I met difficulties because in Korea we have some prejudice toward the athlete. If you are your major is sport or some um, related to athlete, then people directly think you are not smart enough in the society. So of course I wasn't given any chance to get into the company. So when I realized my uh, when I realized the reality, I decided to change my major. So uh, when I was 24 years old, I changed my major here, international politics. <laughs> <laughs> International politics. Uh, but you know, this process was not that much simple. I had really difficulties, and I had to give a, uh, a lot of effort to study. At that time, my English level was just low beginner. Like, just I know alphabet A B C D. So I. Uh, I studied really hard and most of the students who want to transfer their major or school usually they give up this point because it's too difficult but I was able to uh, change my major successfully because I had a goal and I had a strong will in my life so anyway this major helped me to have a lot of uh, helped me to join a lot of programs and job trainings which is related to the training. <laughs> training. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So 
because of those preparation, uh, I can work for, I can get into the trade company smoothly. So two years ago, I just, two years ago, <laughs> two years ago, I went, I worked for a trading company to just specialize in importing product. So at this time, I learned a lot of things. I have learned a lot of things from my previous companies, and it built, it helped me to build my foundation of trade. So now, recently, I stopped working from my previous company, and I came here to prepare my, for my next step. So after CNC, okay, let me draw the dog first. After CNC, I will going to work for exporting company to complete my foundational trading. And finally, I will have, I'm surely have my own business. Of course, it doesn't mean uh, I have achieved or I have reached my goal. But I'm sure that uh, kind of I'm getting closer to my my dream here. So please listen; it's very important. <laughs> according to the Steve Jobs, according to the Steve Jobs, you have to trust that the dots that um, will somehow connect in your future. So you have to trust something, your destiny, your God's life, karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down and it has made all the differences in my life. I think everyone knows that trusting your own decision is often one of the most difficult but necessary and rewarding experiences. So now it's your time to break down your goals into several dots and connect them until you reach your goal. Thank you. <laughs>